Well, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Seven games in. I mean, with you know the offense obviously coming off a ten-point game um, at Louisville, what have you seen overall? The progression of the offense? Are the guys picking it up, and how are they doing with the offense this far into the season? Well, I tell you what, Chris, they've picked up the offense. Uh, you know, uh, football is the ultimate team game. Uh, we try to put our guys in the best position uh, to be successful. You know, when we try to balance the run game and the passing game. Uh, I, I think you see us play very well. You know, when you take a look at the game of football, it's usually things that lose games that affect things. So when you take a look at games like Georgia Tech, you take a look at Louisville, when you turn the ball over, when you penalize yourself, um, you know, th those things are costly. You know, when we play clean, you know, we've come out successful. So, you know, we talk about every day with our guys that, hey, football is the ultimate team game. It takes all 11 to play as one. And it's things that lose games that we really try to minimize. And it's those things we just talked about. So when you take a look at those losses this season and you look at uh, the turnovers and the penalties, you know, those are the things that we got to clean up. When you, when, when you forgetting fundamentals and scheming and play calling and all that, when you have a quarterback who's struggling, as a coach, what can you do to help them? Well, first off, any player, we try to put in position to be successful. And we talk about the foundation of any player's success is his fundamentals and his techniques. That's the foundation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every day we go out there as coaches, we teach this great game. Uh, just like today's practice, we'll get a chance to go out there, watch it on tape, make, make the corrections, schematic corrections fundamental and technique corrections, whether it's eyes and feet. And then players, biggest thing we ask is to prepare to perform. You know, in a quarterback situation, we are continually working on uh, run game decisions, protection decisions, pass game decisions, and the fundamentals and techniques that are involved in those phases. You know, in the passing game, uh, what is my progression? Where is my starting point? You know, my, my eyes leave my feet. I got to make quick, decisive decisions, throw an accurate ball. In the run game, you got to be able to identify defenses and get us in the right run checks, as are the protection checks. What about counseling these guys and, you know, you know, talking them through some of their problems? You know, Man, sure. we love coaching this game. Mm -hmm. You know, just like last night, Keaton and the quarterbacks came in for a while. And, man, what a great meeting we had just to be able to teach the game of football. You know, take the winning and losing out of it. But just the experiences that we've been able to have as coaches and, and to share the knowledge and, and the wisdom with these guys. Like last night, uh, just talk about certain coverages and certain things. Um, you know, it's a great game to coach. And I mean, honestly, you know, the relationships are important. And as a teacher, you want to be positive. And the biggest thing we want to do is is if someone makes a mistake, you want to correct it. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. Just like our offensive meeting, you know, our offensive meeting Sunday. The approach we take is, hey, look, guys, we're all disappointed. We have three losses. We're all very disappointed. But you got to move forward. So when you watch that tape on Sunday, you know, my words walking in there was, hey, you know, that loss hurt. You know, we work hard, and winning football games is not easy, and that loss hurt. But we got to take a look at this film, you know, and take a look at the mistakes, and we got to learn from it. Because at the end of the day, we're teachers. We, we want to do the best job that we can mentoring these guys, staying positive. So hopefully, they don't make the same mistake again. Frank, okay. overall, how, how would you say Keaton has played this year? You know what? Keaton's done some great things out there. First off, playing quarterback is very difficult. You know, I, I, I just think about all the great quarterbacks I've been around in my life. It's hard, you know. Um, Keaton's done a very nice job preparing himself. He's done a great job in the run game in terms of run checks, protection checks. Uh, in the passing game, there's always going to be plays that you want to have back. You know, just like that first series of Louisville, certainly he'd like to have that play back. I don't know a quarterback that doesn't have plays they want to have back. Um, Keaton is progressing. Unfortunately, when you take a look at the season, you know, the second game of the year, Keaton goes down with a con concussion, loses a week. Um, so hopefully as we stay healthy here, 
we're going to see continued success and better play with Keaton. I talked about game. how the offense takes a little bit to develop with a new offensive coordinator, new quarterback, new receivers in the group. Do you think that just everything being so new has played a role into the chemistry not necessarily being no, as good as you'd like it to be right I, now? I don't because, you know, our coaches and players have done a great job learning this system. It's not like it's uh, – run game and protections and pass game that they haven't been around in the past. You know, the one thing that we have tried to do is establish some balance. Because when you look at our offense, you know, we've got a pretty good running back room. We've got a pretty good line room. And you always try to play to your strengths. You know, guys, I'm all about winning. And like I said before, the three losses were very disappointing. I'm not into style points. One thing I learned in the National Football League was, man, it's a game about winning. It ain't about how many pass yards I have. It ain't about how many running yards I have. It's about trying to get one more point. And we're going to always take the approach, what is our best way of trying to win this football game Saturday? And it's just not from an offensive standpoint, but how can we best protect our defense from being on the field too? You know, whether it's time of possession, uh, whether it's changing field position. Um, but I think our coaches and players have done an outstanding job within the system. It's a game of execution, right? So at the end of the day, it takes all 11 guys doing their job as best as they can, and that's why we're hired to teach this great game. Fundamentals, techniques, and make the corrections. And every team that's out there playing, it's hard, and we all know how hard it is, you know, but it's the greatest game there is, and every day we come here, we're positive, and it is truly a blessing to teach this great game. Right. How's he doing mentally, Keaton? Keaton's doing great. You know, you know, getting a concussion and, you know, missing a week, week and a half, that's not easy, Jerry. We know, we know how difficult that is. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Keaton's really doing well. Frank, Pat talked, uh, talked us through a, little, a few of those uh, turnovers that you guys had against Louisville. Yeah. You, in a different place, you have a little bit of a different view. Can you walk us through what you saw? In yeah, game? you know what? I can walk you through them all because, once again, these are teaching moments. Those were the words I used with offense Sunday. These are teaching moments. And I am never going to, the offensive staff, we're never going to let our disappointment in losing uh, change the way we are going to positively coach these guys so they can learn. So when, when we talked about those turnovers, because that's the first thing we put up there, you know, let's take a look at these four turnovers that we had. You know, the first turnover is simply a poor decision. Quarterbacks do make poor decisions, and they'd all love to have them back, you know. Uh, the second turnover came down to ball security. You know, we got a beautiful drive going, and, and uh, you know what? Rodney didn't secure the ball as well as we, he would have liked to, and the defense got to give them some credit too. You know, and so every turnover has a different story. And the most important thing is hopefully we learn from it. And as coaches, we got to make sure that we're doing the best job we can uh, teaching, training our players, and then in practice doing ball security drills and and so on. Frank, what's the struggle to establish a balance when you have such a strong running game that's every week? Like against Virginia Tech, you, you guys ran, ran 17 times, through 17 times in the first half. I'm sitting there watching you guys come out of the tunnel along with Chris Peak over here, yeah. and we hear you say, let's take this game over. And at first I was like, oh, that's coach speak. Yeah. Then you come out and you run yeah. 28 times with seven passes, and you guys have the most yeah. historic rushing performance in history. How tough is that to balance your play call to try to keep that balance when you see the success on the Well, you know, side? Chris, the way I was brought up in this profession, you want to be balanced. You know, when you're a run, run action, keep team, situational, drop back pass, you would really like to start the game off and try to be balanced in your run pass. And if it's working, you stay that way. Then hopefully you get ahead, you get in four minute offense, and you get a lot more rushing attempts. So, you know, as a coach, you got to make decisions as the game is going on. How are we playing? What are we doing best? Uh, are we running the ball well? Are we throwing the ball well? Are we completing the ball? How are we protecting? Because, you know, this is the ultimate team game. When you see an incompletion, sometimes there's so many different reasons why. And that's why you got to come in here and evaluate it. But honestly, like the Virginia Tech game, I felt like, you know what, the second half, that uh, the offensive line in the blocking unit, it's truly a blocking unit, and Izzy could take the game over. I think it might have been yourself. Why was Izzy named the starting running back? I said, what? Because he can hit home runs. You know, when you got a home run hitter back there, you got to give him at bats.
What did your dad teach you about <coughs> handling players? Wow. <coughs> Oof. Great question. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> you handle them with respect. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. no. <sighs> you know, we're here to we're here to help these young men. Winning and losing is part of the process, but it's our job to build positive relationships and try to make them better people, better men, better husbands, better fathers. And he taught me to realize that every day is a blessing and every day is a positive day. Some days are better than others. And when you go into work, go in there and make a difference in these kids' lives. Don't let the negative things that happen in this business, because there's a lot of them, you got to block out the outside noise. These kids give us everything they have. They prepare, they give us effort, and you can't ever let the winning and losing change the way you love these kids and care about these kids. Um, man, great question. Good answer. Well, answer. my father, when I come into work every day, you know, I talk to my dad, you know, what make him proud. And, and part of that is being positive and making a difference in these kids' lives. 